blue side or whoever has first pick is going to be coming into the stream. So the drafting is going to be even more intense. And I'm looking forward to see how it goes here because after watching Trident and Muramasa, I'm looking forward to see how the semifinals is going to go down if they were to meet again. But nevertheless here, the next upcoming match right now here, the final rounds of the round robin is going to be between Scythe as well as Trident. I don't know, man. What are we going to be expecting from this year? Uh, no, it's not going to be Scythe and Trident. It's going to be Muramasa, Muramasa, oh, Muramasa and Excalibur. And Excalibur, my bet. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean bad, it's going bad. to be it's going to be a very interesting one indeed here as we're going to be seeing some targeted bands from the side of Muramasa onto Excalibur. I don't think it's targeted bands. I think it's going to be a very, uh, I guess, general bands as well. Granger and Eudora being banned out here. Very interesting bands coming in from Excalibur here. Um, it is going to be Tigreal and I think that's a Lapu Lapu if I'm not mistaken. Is that? No, is that that's a, a Zilong. What are you talking about? Zilong. No, no, what, no, the bands, the bands, the bands. No, yeah. no, no, that's a uh, Tigreal and uh, Yishun Sin. Yishun Sin, yeah, sorry, yeah. whoops. I always get those uh, a little bit mistaken. Yeah, they, they look kind of similar as well because they have this red band on top of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always seem to get that. Ooh, uh, Kaya. But no, I was bamboozled, it seems. It is going to be glue, glue instead. Ooh, this is going to be very interesting indeed as we're going to be seeing um, Muramasa actually uh, come into their full... Line up at least in their first uh, big stages, and ooh. what do you think about this from Excalibur here? Um, I see. Uh, I don't know. It seems like the Z long pickup is something that Muramasa understands that Excalibur plays it a lot. Uh, just because it has, you know, have just because you don't have five bands, right? You know, you, you have the Z-Law here just like, you know what, I'm just going to pick it just, just so that they cannot play it. So I would say Muramasa's idea is going to be that in that re in sense. But when it comes to the following matchup here, I feel like Excalibur, they're struggling to deal with this glue. But like most of the teams so far we've seen has struggled against glue and someone's got to figure something out. And I would say, I would say, the closest to kind of figure it out here, I think it was the match between Tizona and Trident, where Tizona tried to do it with the Barats, uh, which didn't exactly work out just because they had the Johnson, which uh, could not follow up with the combo based on the, how they drafted the heroes here. So, I, like I said as well, the semifinals is going to be insane, especially for all the teams here. The drafts is going to be intense. And I feel like Glue right now has a 100% win rate thus far. So a lot of these may need to consider the fact that Muramasa is going to be picking this a lot. Maybe something that they can consider banning it as a first phase ban later on. But now, seeing other drafts here, no marksman coming from Muramasa. They will bring the Esmeralda in towards the pool and with the Hayabusa to try and midgetate the Feathered Airstrike. So I'm liking this, but can he time it well? And is... Mocking going to be able to pull off an insane will play. Seems like the final pick Layla here has been a popular pick among the, the teams here, Haun. I'm really interested to see how this is going to be working out for Excalibur. I think they really, really need a win today. And I think winning against one of the top teams in uh, the group stages is definitely going to give a little bit of a morale boost for them. However, looking at what we have seen thus far, they do have quite interesting... Um, what's the word for it? Uh, quite interesting uh, composition that's coming in from the side of Muramasa because they do have quite a bit of an interesting split push um, split push capability that I feel with the Hayabusa. Hayabusa is a very much a very interesting opportunity for them to actually try and get uh, some of these uh, split push in terms of at least getting as much real estate as they can and uh, with the amount of rotational a rotational value that comes with the Hayabusa, I think that's going to be interesting. They do have a very, very good lockdown capability with the Divine Judgment on the Kaja. And I think that's going to be very interesting because sometimes you can build Kaja as a pure fighter with a little bit of uh, damage as well. Or you can build her purely tanky and focus on the, the focus the fact on the utility that comes with the Divine Judgment because it is going to be a very strong... Um, what's it what's it called uh, a suppression as well as ability to pull the target kind of like um, setting up a very interesting team fighting mechanic for them let's go into the game and let's see how that is going to transpire for muramasa on the blue side going up against excalibur on the red side i see yeah and as of now here to start things off i'm I, i'm definitely excited to see potentially a kaja pick up here but unfortunately this game i don't think we need it here like if you think about it here if excalibur decides to go for it 
it would be a really nice pickup to try and counter Meditate against the, the glue matchup. But seems like Excalibur, they're getting a little bit greedy here, going for Layla and Lesti. This is going to be the ultra late game uh, win con coming from Excalibur. But they will lose out so much aggression here. And this is Murah Master's specialty. You've seen a couple of games, uh, uh, the previous game coming from them, and you know how aggressive they would be. Uh, in these kind of scenarios here. So Excalibur, they have to be extremely careful if they want to try and uh, win these games here. Uh, it, can they drag this out to a later stage game? I don't know. We'll, let, let's find out for now. All right, so we're going to be seeing uh, this is going to be an interesting one here for the side of um, Muramasa as well as Excalibur. I think what Excalibur really needs to do is they have to be... Oh, wait, before that, though, just as I was saying it, it seems that it is going to be a one-for-one one here for both Muramasa as well as Excalibur. A flicker there coming in from the side of Remote TV to get away from that. And Remote, I think he's played at least all three of these games thus far... Uh, all, all, all of his games as far as glue, and I think that's going to be a very, very big signifying, at least a big, uh, how to say, a big clue for who to ban out next, I guess, because a lot of these fights were actually started up by remote TV getting in the middle of those fights. You know, I, I must say, you know, glue is going to be the clue to victory here. In this case, it gives you a clue or what Mura Masa is going to be picking in the semi-finals here. So be sure to start banning off the blues here. And I like how this round robin is just exposing so many strategies here. So it is a great setup for those teams who's preparing for the semi-finals later to kind of take sight on what's going to be happening here. So glue is something that a lot of teams are comfortable with here. Maybe something that they might take out of the picture. But if you ban off glue, that means a lot of other OP characters is going to be up in the grab as well, such as Eve as well as Matilda. So we're going to be seeing a very interesting fight here. Moon right now trying his level best to actually try to sustain this fight as uh, Drago is going to be very, very aggressive indeed. Moon walks away with the Geek Fam, with the Geek Fam of uh, Flex right there before getting out of their very good show of um, sportsmanship and a little bit of confidence there. I do like it. Always a good show of banter here coming in from the side of Muramasa. Yeah, and as of now, you know, there's nothing out crazy yet coming from uh, both of the teams. But for me, it feels like Muramasa, they're just leading the economy game. By, by right, they should be dominating. The oh, wow, Charles going for a cheeky play. Ah, oh, could not get the purple buff in time here just because of the retribution being expended from Viola Grey. So very unfortunate, but great Valen attempt because that means I am going to scare them off. Meanwhile, Moon is going to get challenged as well. Here comes to Purify. And so does he have to... Oh, no, he does not. So it's going to be A-OK. -okay. While that's going to be happening as well, bottom side from Muramasa, they will get the trade-off on towards Mocking J. So that's going to be a nice kill heading away towards Muramasa. As the game drags on, you can see Muramasa, they want to close this out as quickly as they can just because they don't have a marksman. So they want to try and close this out here. The Oge Shadow Q has been used from off. Can he finish from Layla? No, he cannot. And that's going to be the reset coming in. But seems like he is going to be out of position. The minions are on his way to give them a little bit of production. And that's going to be Muramasa getting a kill. Can he get a second one? But oh, massive alternate baits coming from Remote TV and Charles now. Going to push them all back. So Muramasa taking full control of the game sense here. Messing around with the timers coming from Excalibur with the ultimates. And this is going to be easy timings coming in from them. Unless Viola Grace has something to say. Nope. Not going to be able to get a snipe. So that's going to be AFF securing the turtle. All right, we're going to be seeing here coming in for the side of Muramasa as well as Excalibur. It's going to be a very interesting one indeed as Moon is going to be trying to spin his level best Drago right now. Fight off a little bit more than Hikachu is going to get blown up beautifully from the side of Moon as we're going to be seeing more and more action here. Pick up as I do see that uh, Pfizer as well as AFF are going to be getting as much priority over to the bot side as they can. Oh, Excalibur right now is going to be going quite a bit onto Mocking J. Mocking. Oh, gets taken down as Pfizer walks away with the sliver of hell, but will be blocked out beautifully from him. Oh, even dodges out the ultimate that came here from M23, but M. Oh, gets blown up from the side of SF will be able to walk away with three kills and the killing spree. Yep, and as of now here, you know, Muramasa just taking full advantage. The hero's power spike right now is just go time for them, and they're not afraid to challenge this. And look at this, Moon is just out DPSing and out sustaining Drago at this stage of the game. Now, with the falling star Moon, can he get the kill? Needs the one take it. We'll get it here. And on top of that, star points with the Geek Fam shout out here. Uh, but Moon, you know, very, very 
Great timing here and decision making to actually tank his way through. They will keep on the aggression here to push up the tier one. But Muramasa, one of the biggest advantage right now is that they are able to get an early mid tower control. And on top of that, now bottom tower is going to be focused down on top of that. So that means it's going to be so much map control for this next turtle securement coming on bottom side for Muramasa. Yeah, Murumasa now going to be very, very much aggressive in how they're going to be pushing it out. Not even another kill going to be given away from them as Moon right now is going to be fighting off against Drago72. Oh, big, big uh, flex there. Very big, strong flex coming oh. from Moon. Oh, Moon coming in, helping out with a mega kill going over to his F as Moon will be able to get a kill for himself as well. The shields are going to be building up wonderfully for the side of Muramasa. Another kill coming in as we do see that Excalibur is able to score another kill here, but it seems that Muramasa is just uh, 10 steps ahead and it seems that this could be one of those games that they want to end as quickly as possible here as Muramasa seems to be like yep we want to end this game as quickly as we can want to take a longer break here in between the rounds yeah they have to create uh, quickly end this year because they cannot afford to lose out in terms of photo the game and now moon he's gonna get caught out oh the fat asteroid doesn't seem to connect that is so unfortunate here coming for dracana and you can't blame him just because of the auto attack here his Feather Airstrike was actually proccing on towards the minions on the sides. So it's just so, so unfortunate here. If he got the full combo off, that would have been the, the death of Moon. However, speaking of the games here, you know, if you're talking about catch potential here, Muramasa has just so much catch potential. You have Pfizer who's constantly getting extremely aggressive in this place as well. Look at how he's able to just one-shot the Layla and also Vela Grace later on, which is going to be one of the key components of them isolating the Marksman. And while this is happening as well, hands-on, he's going to get fo focused down. Here comes the Meteor Shower, and that's going to be his demise on top of that. As Excalibur, they're slowly losing in all this split push potential, and they can't seem to find a way to drag this game long enough at all. All right, so we're going to be seeing that dragging the game may not be an option here for the side of Excalibur. I, I want to try to say a positive as I can for the side of Excalibur because um, I, I'm all for competitive value, but it seems that Muramasa here is just is just playing the role of a bully here. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it is a, a, a stomp here coming in from the side of uh, Muramasa because they're not giving even a little bit of leeway uh -oh. for the side of Excalibur. As we're going to see, Drago right now is in the middle of the fight, tries to go for it, oh. but the goes over for Moon. But oh, a double kill there. Going to go over to the side of Excalibur. Not going to be enough though to stop that, to stifle the push that's coming in. Despite the fact that the ultimate is going to be working out in favor for the side of Viola Grace, it's not going to be enough damage to take him down for the count. So we do see Muramasa right now still knock, knock, knocking on Excalibur's doors. Well, you might have jinxed it here because Excalibur here, they massive to get managed to get a little bit of retaliation, but oh, never mind. Uh, seems like the joke's on me here because Charles was able to get burst and down with a video shower here. Grace immediately gets deleted from this fight here. So that's gonna be 16 seconds on the sidelines for now as Muramasa continues with their aggression. They're in nine minutes in the game, they were able to get all the outer turrets here. And the once remains is gonna be the tier trees from Excalibur. And Lord is gonna be up for grabs on top of it all. Muramasa gonna try and stretch things out as well. Oh, look at this, Char almost taking Drakena. Can he die? Is he gonna survive? Oh, oh he's gonna be f a okay. So that's gonna be over commitments coming from Charles as well as Remote TV. As Excalibur will be able to take this out, but as of now, Muramasa, are they going to try and snipe the Lord here? Seems like he is going to make a way here as well. Pfizer does have the double buff, and look at how quickly the Lord is chunking his way through. Mon is going to try and slow this down in this track, and it's the right play here. Seems like the Lord will die a little bit too quick in this regard, and Excalibur not going to be able to respond to this at all. Yeah, it's going to be a very, very terrible one indeed here coming in from the side of Excalibur because it seems that despite the fact that they are slowly coming back into the game, oh, wow. Muramasa right now is going to go, go and wow, look at that Pfizer right now is in the middle of it. It's not going to be allowing members of Excalibur to come back into the game as we do see that members of Excalibur right now level best trying to get away, but it's going to be the middle shower that uh, takes him down for the cow with the help of Shaz. Mega kill going to go over to Pfizer and we do see an <laughs> end there coming in from the side of Excalibur. It is going to be a big stomp here coming in from the side of Muramasa. 
Dude, this is the purge. Oh my god. Muramasa going out of control. Now here comes the falling star moon on top of that. They are just diving into the back lines. Moon might actually die here. He's gonna be A-OK. -okay. You can see the marksmen are trying their best to finish him off, and he's gonna be A-OK. Okay, ay ay ay, the tanks are just crazy here. Look at this, Chaka's meter shower, they're bullying them. Oh, they're able to just dive in and out. The Lord isn't even in the base, they're already killing them all off. As Excalibur, they don't have the economy, they need time, but do they have enough? Because Muramasa is just knocking them away. And here comes the pullback from Pfizer. He's gonna pay with his life, but he's okay trading with the mage. As the crystals are coming in, Meteor Shower to clean out everyone. And the Lord says goodbye to the crystals as Muramasa with a flawless victory thus far. Undefeated in the entirety of the rounds.